Hey, this is YBR with BMG Drive, and today we're going to do some extra testing for the ATTE. And to start things off, we're just going to go to grid map. The first thing we're going to be doing is seeing if the ATTE can drive in sun gravity. And I really don't think it will be able to, but we're going to try it out to see. And we got a nice drop from the sun gravity, that's for sure, but, uh, well, let's see, just accelerating. No good. Accelerating plus turbo. Nothing. Accelerating plus turbo plus going to redline and dumping the clutch, which is basically the most we're going to be able to get out of this thing. Nothing. It's it's not going to budge at all like that. If we want it to move, we're going to need a lot less gravity. So maybe like negative 74, it might be okay. Uh, we'll test that out and see. So Same method though. We're going to rev it up, drop the clutch, and use turbo. I do notice the turbo is able to at least wiggle it, so that gives me hope. Go! Oh, it almost moved. Go, go, go. I'm wiggling you. Like, that is just, just a little too much gravity. This thing could drive probably on a pretty steep one, though. Maybe 50. 50 it should be able to drive, I'm thinking. With the assistance of a turbo. Well, let's try that out. Without turbo, I don't have a hope here. I don't think, like, I don't hope, I don't think it will. It doesn't have a hope. Oh! Okay, at 50 gravity without turbo, it can drive. And it could do the suspension test even. Very unusually looking because of the gravity. And then with turbo, we can actually get moving. I guess I should shift, huh? So that's at 50 times uh, gravity, which is five times more than Earth gravity. I don't know if times gravity is really the right word to use there, but you know what I mean. It's at 50 for gravity, where Earth is at 9.8, so it's like in meters... It's like the meters per second conversion of what the speed something would fall at, I think. Something like that. But the point is, it can drive at 50, but not sun gravity. And 50, it seems pretty good. Like, uh, you know, as long as you use turbo, you're good to go. You don't need it to be in a manual mode anymore. I could use automatic. Although I think something's not quite right here because I'm going left and it's going forward. All right, so that's the first test we were going to do. You can go ahead and say, no, not zero gravity, earth gravity. Look at it bouncing around. And go and spawn up another thing, which will be not a vehicle, actually. This is going to be the, if I can find it, the spinning, the spinner. The spinning spinner. Yeah, totally. That's what I meant to say. And I'm going to rem remove the wall for now and just slam into it while it's spinning. And then I'll uh, put the wall in and I'll put it in the spinner and see how it uh, does there. So first thing I got to do is just get the spinner up to speed. And we'll do a normal speed one at first. Which means the spinner's not using its turbo mode or anything like that. It's just a normal spinner spinning speed. And then after that, we'll do one with the spinner going at turbo speed to see how it compares to the ATTE. Also, I should point out, if you're watching this video before the first one for the ATTE, you shouldn't be doing that. You should definitely watch the other one first. And I should probably put a link in the description for it, just in case. But, oh uh, well, I'll probably forget knowing me. All right, kind of a terrible angle there. I apologize for that. But the ATTE has been stopped by the spinner, which means we're going to use the turbo with the ATTE and come at the spinner and break the spinner. Then the spinner gets to use turbo too, and it's just going to be like this back and forth kind of hopefully ATTE wins. Now spinner wins. Now ATTE wins. At least that's the goal. Whoops. Oh, was, that was not the right button. That's supposed to be a respawn the vehicle, not the... Oh, I've ruined my ATTE. Yes, here we go. It's going to be at least 100 miles per hour. Not more. A lot more. All right, 100 times slow so I can get lined up with the camera. All right, ATTE, you ready? I'm going to do 100 times slow on the crash because this is a fast crash. I wonder if there's any way to change the preset. So I could have like a preset of Nate, like 20 times slow mo. That'd be good. Oh, that's not. Uh, uh, ATTE is not faring too well. I'll tell you that much. Although the spinner's not doing much better, it's been lifted up. I think this is a they both lose kind of thing. I right, speed it up a little bit. Yeah, I, I, I wrecked that spinner, but he also wrecked me, so. I call it a draw. That is a draw. Good job, ATTE. -T -T -E. I'm going to say those letters wrong. I just know it. 
A T T E. I need to give you a new name that I can remember easier. Like I should just say the Atate or something. I don't know. All right, so let's go ahead and reset the spinner, and let's uh, put it into turbo mode. And now it's turbo versus turbo. And just to add some variety to things, we can go ahead and do this one with the interior camera. And if I don't like it, I can always just do another run with the exterior camera. And I didn't even shift into gear or use a normal way to like, speed up or anything. I just turboed the whole way and oh, okay, gotcha. Although he got me pretty well too. And I definitely want to see this on the outside because I didn't get to see too much. And it's interesting, the camera's now, the straight orientation is over there. That's like what happens when you straighten out. Really though, I want to be looking this way. What's this guy look like? Ooh, that's that's not so good. He got pretty beat up. How's the spinner? He can't spin right, and it's kind of because of the suspension test, and also because I bent him so much. If you freeze physics, you can see just how bent that piece I hit is. That was a good hit. All right, let's go ahead and uh, reset both of these guys and try it one more time. And go! And I always want to hit it on the right side. I think I said that before, did I? I don't. Maybe I didn't. But I want to hit in the right side because it's spinning in a uh, clockwise rotation. And if I hit it on the left side, it ends up kind of being a, a less dramatic crash because it can kind of just push me away. This one, it's actually a really hard collision and there's nothing the spinner can do to like stop me. Oh, spinner just got wrecked. Nice going, ATT. You just wrecked that spinner. I don't know where you're going for sure. Oh, okay. My ATTE just disappeared. ATTE has glitched. Spinner has also glitched. Both vehicles have glitched. That was an amazing crash, obviously. Otherwise, that wouldn't have happened. And I don't think I'll buy... Well, here. I have a real time just because. I'm such a nice guy. I'm going to do a real time. Gets a little repetitive if you do every camera angle from real time. But we'll do just this one. Real time. In the middle of the top. And I just got shot off to the side. Did I get some good damage on the top, though? Let's see. Oh, yeah, I got that top good. It's stretching. It's going to just glitch out. It's going to, yup, mm-hmm. Everything's broken. Spinner's back. ATTE is back. All right, let's uh, put the, uh, the wall on this thing. And put it at a normal speed. No more spinning at ludicrous speeds. And now we can go ahead, grab the ATTE and just drive it up onto there. Although I'm going way too fast to actually drive it in, I'm going to end up flying over it. Can it even fit on the ramp? That's a good question. All right. How big are you, ATTE? Can you fit on this ramp? Sort of. It can't even fit in the little bubble area or the little circle. And like that, that stops the spinner. That totally stops the spinner. So the spinner needs more turbo. There you go. All right, ATT, it just barely fits in there. Oh, but it, it, it's able to stop the spinner. It's just so big. It stopped. I'm using turbo, and it's like, I can't move no more. Turbo the opposite direction. A little bit of movement on it if I go the opposite direction. Uh, but that looks like a uh, ATTE win right there. Because that thing is not spinning. So if I just pop the wall off. Oh, you could have only a double top. I didn't know that. Neat. Might be useful. But I, uh... Oh, wall. I was hitting ramp. I'm not reading it. I'm just clicking. It's a bad habit of mine. That's why I end up with 10 toolbars. I'm like, yeah, oh, I want to install this. Click, click, click. Why, what is all this stuff? This is the toolbars you installed. I didn't want that. All right. So actually, you know what I should do is instead of just doing that, I should... ATTE comes to block it. And then just put the parking brake on. And then Spinner tries to push the ATTE... Ooh, it can push it, and it shoves it. All right, I think that's enough uh, spinner testing. How about the next thing we test is dropping the ball on an ATTE. So we're just going to say, here's the ATTE. I think he's mostly undamaged after that spinner, so ball in the air, drop it. Get a little bit of slow-mo on this thing. Slow-mo's always nice. Get out of here, ball. You can't damage an ATTE that much. Got a little dent, but I still drive. Get out of here. I can shove you if I want to. How about this? Instead of using the ball, what if we used another ATTE? Let's see, which is heavier first, actually? 
quick check. Ball weighs uh, 10,000 kilograms, which is 10 metric tons. I believe the ATT weighs 20 something. So this should be a much harder crash. Double ATTEs. Except they're not lined up. Okay, I can fix this. Whoa, I can. Just give me a second. Boom. All right, get rid of all these menus I have up. You can actually see the crushing. And go. That was actually kind of underdramatic. It just kind of bumped it, and it's like, oh, we're both fine. Yeah, they're just like, we're both fine. Neither of them got any real... Oh, well, okay, he got damaged up a lot right there. This guy, though, he barely has any damage. One wheel is a little bent. That's it. Okay, it's totally bent. Okay, those wheels also aren't quite right. There's a lot of damage. I lied. It just looked at like... At first, it didn't look like there was much. Another dumb idea. What if we gently stack them on top of each other instead of like dropping it like that what if I went and said how about I gently stack it so let's try doing that the easiest way to do that is just to use the map editor so we're gonna go ahead and select the player one copy its position and then hit enter while it's on that position then we're gonna select the other one and we're gonna put it at the exact same position and then we're just gonna pull it up a little bit like so and just like that, we should have two ATTEs that are stacked, but not quite inside of each other. They might be a little bit inside, so I just want to make sure no wheels are glitched inside of the other one. That looks like it's good for sure, so unfreeze physics. And now we could try driving the bottom one and seeing if it holds up. Uh, pretty sure this is the bottom one. What transmission do I have? Alright, automatic. And real gentle on the throttle. I don't want the top one to roll off. In fact, to make things a little bit easier, let's put the top one's parking brake on. And the suspension test. All right, we can go full throttle, it looks like. I was afraid it might roll off if I went full throttle right off the bat. Now, totally fine to do that. And the double decker ATTE is alive. It's alive, but very unstable looking. Oh yeah, it's not just unstable looking, it's unstable. I'm gonna try to do a really hard churn right here, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna fall off. So, boom. Yep, it fell. But you can see they weren't attached in any way. It was just gravity holding them together. Well, gravity in the shape. They kind of like do what Legos do, how they stack inside of each other to hold each other together. You can see like how the wheels and stuff, how they overlap and stuff. So that's kind of what holds it together. Anyways, next thing we're going to do is, uh, I don't know. How about turbo? Turbo, turbo. This is the emergency deployment system for the upper... Uh, vehicle you slam into the wall with the bottom one and then the upper ones okay or not you're supposed to deploy not get wrecked worth a shot I guess it didn't work out though eh, you deploy you're just damaged to can drive right it could drive it, it's a success it's too bad everybody in the thing is probably dead from the crash anyways the next thing I want to test is the propane tank blowing up on or in the ATTE. I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna even do this, so I guess I'll just start off by dropping it in there or on there, seeing if it does much damage. What damage? There's nothing. Like there's an explosion and everything, but there's no damage to it. Obviously, we need more power in the explosion. And to do that, the easiest way is again to map editor thing. So we're gonna go ahead and reset him, freeze physics right about there, and go into the map editor. And then we're going to copy the propane tank. So I'm going to just select it if I can. I was not it. There we go. And I'm going to just say put a ton of them right here. We're just going to paste like 20 or so. And then unfreeze physics and they'll explode instantly. Or they might just crash instantly, which is what happened. So let's go back in grid map and try this again. All right. So here's attempt number two at this. This is 16 propane tanks this time. So a little bit less just in case the number was the problem and perfect wow that's interesting so like the wheels and suspension seem ruined yet the actual body of the vehicle isn't that badly damaged if I put the uh, pedal to the floor nothing happens if I use turbo mm, actually I don't know if you can use turbo in the map editor 
I, I would assume all this movement would be from the turbo though, so I don't think it can move. We can reset it though, and what? Why did the wheels just disintegrate? That was weird. Alright, how about this? What if we blow it up from the inside out? And we're gonna do a little explosion here because you don't usually need a big explosion to do something crazy like this. Really? Four propane tanks in the inside of this thing and that's all the damage it got. Okay, time for more propane tanks. Eleven. Nothing can survive eleven propane tanks. Not even the game itself, apparently. Oh, somehow physics got frozen again even though I did not click it. Either way, I'm actually quite surprised that it didn't glitch out a lot. Pretty much any other vehicle I use that on, it totally glitches out. This one managed to not do that, even using a dozen propane tanks. That's quite impressive, to be honest. Alright, so here's the next test. This is either going to crash the game, or it will cause the vehicle to glitch out. I'm not sure which. We'll see soon enough, though. So here's like 30 propane tanks, I would assume. Whoa, okay. 50-something propane tanks. Rest in peace, computer. Yep, that glitched it out. As expected. Alright, anyways, let's get rid of all those propane tanks, and then the next thing I want to try is back into the game. I want to go ahead and fix everything up. I don't know what everything's doing, exploding everywhere and all that nonsense. Okay, we're ready to go. So the next thing we're going to do, though, is try to uh, crush the ATTE with the crusher. I don't know if it'll actually fit. It might be like crush half of it, because, yeah, it's not going to fit. We'll just shove it in there anyways and say, just crush it. I don't care if it don't fit. Reset it so it has functional tires. I don't know where they keep going. Like, I keep breaking them. Ooh, it's actually bending really well. Oh, there, glitched. And that's why we don't crush things that are bigger than the crusher. Okay, hello. Well, that's glitchy. But again, that's why you don't crush things that are bigger than the crusher. Bad things will happen. Wait, I'm doing it again. Stop, stop, stop. Abort, abort. No, wrong thing. Stop crushing him. They need like an extra large crusher for things like him. Oh, now he's getting stretched. Oh, it's fun to stretch things though. I haven't done that in a while. I should do that. All right, move him out the way for a second. All right, so stretching things is again another thing that basically means I'm gonna make a huge messy glitch pile. You just put it kind of inside of the, cr the crusher and then you open it. The open crusher. Again, it does a pretty good job, though. A little bit of glitchy right there. But I've seen a lot worse. That th That is like one of the ways to make a mess of the game. All right, move you over to here. Get you functional again. And the next thing I want to do is going to be at a different map, actually. So I'm going to have to uh, switch it up because I need a really, 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 really long straightaway. We're going to see how fast this thing can go on Endless Highway. And obviously for this, we're going to be using the turbo because if we didn't use the turbo, it'd be kind of dumb because that's kind of the whole point is to see how ridiculously fast this thing can go using the built-in turbo, which is used by hitting the T key. And all of them have the turbo, mind you. I just choose this one because I think it'd be the best to drive at high speed. Well, maybe not the best. I think the one without the bendy section in the middle would probably be the best, but I love the bendy section. We got to have it. Um, but they all have turbo, so it really doesn't matter what you choose. I just think the one with the four-wheel steering, or eight-wheel steering, I guess, actually, is in this case what it is, uh, would be detrimental to you at really high speeds. Uh, but we're already up to 400 miles per hour, and one of the crazy things about this vehicle is it almost feels like it has linear acceleration when you're using uh, the turbo button, which means no matter what, every 10 seconds we seem to get, or every second we seem to gain like 10 miles per hour and i know it's not quite that but it almost feels like that just because of how ridiculously fast it can accelerate when you use the turbo like it just keeps going the only thing that'll slow it down is the loss of traction which means we're sliding all over the place and unfortunately i'm not using the controller so it's hard to correct without having that happen so i had to use the keyboard for that because the turbo button's on the keyboard which is too bad but we get to see a crash at like 600 miles per hour at least, which is going to be interesting. I just got to see when the wall's coming up. I know it's coming up soon. There it is. All right, we're going to want zero time slow-mo on this one because this is going 540, I guess, instead of 600-ish. So it would have been faster if we crashed it earlier on, but this should be interesting either way. Cameras are glitching out a little bit. Oh, everything's glitching out a little bit. And that's about the outcome I was expecting to see. 
Uh, the next thing I want to do is just a small little test. This kind of a joke. What if we had like a barricade of cars that was trying to like block this thing? So we're just gonna go over here and then put like a bunch of cars that are just kind of parked right here, trying to stop the uh, ATTE from driving anymore. And I'll put four of them like all kind of just block uh, in a row almost, and see what happens. So we're gonna go like that, and one more. Just like there's a barricade. Let's see you shove through it. I'm not gonna use the turbo for this one. This one's just raw engine. And I, I intentionally don't have a lot of speed going into this. Like I could have backed up to get more, got more speed. But I wanted to see, go through the barricade without that much speed or anything. Yep, just totally right through it. Oh no, oh it stopped me. Where's the turbo? Turbo. Yeah. Okay. Well, they stopped me, but only because they got stuck in my wheels which I don't know if that should really count oh I'm parking brake is on alright how about this I know there are actual like little barricades punk barriers I guess they're called what if we put those down all these have to be barriers as well I'm pretty sure these things are gonna be easier than the truck because it won't get stuck on them but we'll see They are smaller, and they're denser though too, so it's, yeah, I don't know, maybe they'll have a chance. Honestly, I doubt it, but maybe. Go and move this guy a little bit better into position, like right there. Alright. Real barricades versus the ATTE. Let's see what happens. Can you stop me? I really doubt it. They're like speed bumps to it. Speed bumps to fall apart. You can't stop the ATTE. All right, so that's uh, all I want to do here. The next thing I want to do is to go to Leap of Death and uh, throw it off of there. And I'm not going to do Brutal Slope because I did basically what you do there here with the turbo. So I'm going to skip that one and just do Leap of Death only. Now, some of you may be wondering, why are we back at Leap of Death when I already threw the ATTE off of Leap of Death at the end of the last video I did for it? And the answer is really simple. Last time, we just let it fall off Leap of Death. This time, we're going to make it crash into a plane, then fall off a Leap of Death. And the plane is going to be flying this time, and not just a stationary plane. And the plane I'm going to use is going to be the Titan, because it's the biggest plane there is. And for a vehicle this big, we need a big plane to give it a fight. And right now, there's obviously no way that plane is going to crash into the ATTE. So we're going to actually go into the map editor, and set them into their locations that they need to be set. So the plane needs to be set at a specific coordinate, which I kind of calculated out, then did a bunch of trial and error testing until I found the exact coordinate that works. And that coordinate is negative 350, 13, 27, and 18, 10. And I typoed that, so I got to fix the typo and then spawn him there. For the next one, we're going to put 0, 0, negative 1. And I keep typoing things because I'm trying to type with the wrong hand because of the way I'm holding my controller. I shouldn't be doing that. And the plane, though, ends up over there, which is the perfect location for us to crash into it using the ATTE. So let's go ahead and go back into the game. And the first thing we're going to want to do is get this plane set up. So we're going to put it into manual mode, make it where it's always pulling back all on its own. And then I'm going to reset it, or freeze physics, reset it, put it into second gear, and unfreeze physics. The plane should be able to fly itself, so all I have to do is just hold the turbo down on the ATTE, which means... They will crash like this in the air. And that is a perfect hit right into the center of the plane. Made all the wings fall, or yeah, both the wings fell off. And now it just has the rudder on the rear. We can go and let this thing fall to the ground in real time now. See if anything interesting happens. I really doubt anything too interesting is gonna happen here to be honest though. Uh, but I, I leave it in because a lot of people want to see this even though it's like, yeah, it's okay. It's, yeah, yeah, stuff kind of crashed and the plane kind of got folded up, that's for sure. That plane is light. I should have thought about that. Maybe I should have used the uh, B-25. Well, they're about the same, honestly, in terms of overall strength or something like that. It really wouldn't have mattered. Either way, though, here we are at the bottom. Interestingly enough, the uh, ATTE pretty undamaged because the plane slowed its descent I think 
Like, just throwing it off Leap of Death, it would have got more damage than that. Alright, so let's go ahead and do this again. And this time, I'm going to put the ATT in the air kind of earlier, so maybe the plane will crash into it. Which is a really dumb sounding idea, but I want to see what happens. I want to see if the ATT is able to, like, stop the plane in the air. It does! It just stops that thing! Nice, ATTE. Atta, whatever. Man, eh, that was cool. He actually stopped the plane in the air. Like a brick wall. Just boom. Plane gets destroyed and ATTE is just totally undamaged from that first collision. This next collision, not so much. It's going to get lots of damage. Very much damages. Told you. Almost seems like this one's uh, falling a little bit faster, but I think, I, was, I think I'm just imagining it. It did get more damage, though. Here goes one of my wheels. No, it wasn't my wheel, was it? Was it a plane's wheel or my wheel? Looks like they're all still attached. Must have been the plane's wheels. Um, anyways, though, that'll do it for the extra testing for the ATTE. If there's anything else you would like to see with it, feel free to request it. Otherwise, until next time, this is YBR. I'll see ya.